So the product is good, um, but the marketing just wasn't really there. Okay, so why do people can't succeed in tra traditional businesses? Well, you kind of look at what happened to Sears, right? Daisy Pennies, uh, you know, now we have uh, Victoria's Secret, Payless Shoes, right? You know, these have been, you know, popular brands, big companies for generations, okay? And now decades. They're, decades and, and now they're gone because they were so uh, used to opening up, you know, these big uh, brick and mortar retail stores. You know, um, the rent is, you know, it's crazy. Uh, so you have to realize that most of the time, consumers now have changed. Uh, they want stuff really like fast now. They want to buy online. They don't want to go and you know necessarily try all the time because they want convenience. They want convenience, right? Uh, they trust the brand. They trust the product, uh, and it's a really good system. Uh, I would say ninety nine percent of the time when I buy stuff online, I haven't been uh, none of my products been compromised, right? So, so in in their eyes, they're saying, oh, online marketing. Complicated. We have to do all this and do that, right? And I mean, so, some traditional businesses. So yeah, traditional businesses. Some. So, what we see is that uh, I think for a lot of viewers out there, there's a lot of great. Um, I would say uh, a lot of people aren't really fully educated in you know online and internet marketing. So, this is a chance for you to be you know online a successful online entrepreneur. Go out there. Do something what these guys are doing, right? These guys, they're, they're stuck here in their old ways. But if you go online, you'll have all the resources, all the access that you need. So, number one challenge for people who want to start their own business, they create a product. For example, we met a guy at the show today. He was making these shirts that uh, had lining on them that was uh, flexible for people who were uh, who needed to wear a nice shirt but still needed to be very active and move around. Mm -hmm. And we asked him, you know, how are you doing online? Are you selling a lot online? He said, it's okay, not bad. And then he's saying how challenging it was to successfully uh, market online. And then we asked him, well, what was the challenge? And he just said, basically, it's new. It's new, it's he new. doesn't know how to do it. <laughs> right. So I, I hope you're all watching this. If you are, I hope this can, we can give you a better feedback. You know? Yeah. yeah. Um, the product is good. It's a good product, right? It solves a problem. People need to wear a shirt. Um, and look formal, but still able to uh, be active. Let's say you're a waiter, or you're a um, person walking a lot, or even doing a lot of exercise while wearing a suit. You need a shirt that's going to be, you know, that's going to help you perspire and uh, it's help you move without getting all stiff. So the product is good, um, but the marketing just wasn't really there. So, so what is the challenge? I think the challenge is it's just lack of education. Because when I look at it, I can see, holy cow, here's a product that really solves a problem out there that no other product is really solving. And there's a huge market of people that want this product. How come he hasn't been able to reach them yet? And also, you know, have you noticed, uh, David, have you noticed every time, uh, if you go to these booths or these trade show, have you noticed this? Like, the uh, environment is so old. It's like kind of like you know when you're talking to someone really old, mm -hmm. you kind of know that that's the environment it's in. Right. It's where everybody does the same thing the same way you know for years. Right? Yeah. So you see. Yeah, that. like the guy that we another guy we talked to who had a um, uh, like a what you call it, pain relief gel. He's been doing the same trade show for the last ten years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And. And he's been able to build some clientele, but but that's it, right? Um, maybe he has 200 clients or 300 clients and he, that he's developed over the last 10 years, mm -hmm. uh, maybe a thousand clients, but that's it. And um, they haven't been able to scale their business. And we asked him, uh, how are you selling it online? And he says, we don't sell anything online. So there's this huge opportunity of, of uh, marketing his product to so many people online, but he just hasn't done it mm -hmm. and we asked him why he just said well we're too old for this that's yeah. right <laughs> just don't know how to do it we yeah need, we need young guys like you to help us do it it's, it's <laughs> simply uh non-confront you know i think 
it really comes down to um, how driven or how willing you are to like, learn something, right? Um, maybe sometimes they do it for passion and money's not necessarily the why. Uh, and it's kind of odd, like, like the way how they do business is literally standing there and interacting with you. Yeah. And so, but, you know, when you're dealing with, you know, almost like what, 8 billion people, 8 billion people on this planet, you're not gonna, you can't cover enough service. Like, yeah. if you really want to push the sales, you gotta do something where uh, you do it very efficiently. You do it like, you know, what we're doing right now is on the video. Uh, like, we don't always have time to teach people at one on one, but we're willing to share with you guys right. uh, what, you know, what we're learning, what we're doing every day. Yeah. Actually, the, the old guy who was 60 years old had the same problem as a young guy who was in his 20s. Right. Um, both had very good presentation skills, very good personal skills. That's why they're in the trade show. That's why they're talking to people, right? So they develop relationships. But then I asked him, um, well, what are you doing online? And how are you duplicating that skill that you have digitally? And he had no idea what I was talking about. Right? That's right. <laughs> so, a lot of people, so I said, I told him, but what if you were able to use your energy, right? Use your skills of speaking and of presenting. And he used to be a branch manager at a, at a bank, right? Um, so he has leadership skills. So you probably have skills, interpersonal skills um, that you're using right now in your job. But imagine if you can duplicate that and scale that a thousand times, reach a thousand times more people than you do today. How do you do it? Well, through YouTube, right? Through videos like this. Uh, and this is not very hard to do. Like we're just putting this camera, this phone, <laughs> camera phone on a table, and we're just doing a video. So how how hard is it to do? It's really not that difficult. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess the um, the lesson that we learned today was, it didn't matter, you know, how young or how old you are. Uh, it just seems like you have to be able to adapt, learn. If you can't learn, hire someone else to do it. If you can't, you stay the same. And that's why I saw, I saw a lot of people stay the same. Right. right, yeah, they've been doing the trade show for years. And um, I mean, they're growing, it's not like they're not growing, but they're growing in like turtle speed. Whereas- uh, like I never heard of them. <laughs> I never heard of them. Yeah, yeah. While someone is screaming out the name out there, you're getting millions of sales. While these guys are just, you know, um, uh, you know, just in one, one location, right? Okay, so um, the reason we're doing this is, uh, so the answer to why businesses fail is they're not using technology, they're not using new ways of marketing mm -hmm. to reach more people in a targeted way and to so that they will actually find your products. Mm -hmm. You may have the best product in the world. You may even have the best personality, best sales skills in the world. But then you're, if you're limiting yourself to an old fashioned traditional way of marketing, then you're limiting your income, you're limiting your potential. That's right. So, so the question I want to ask you is, what can you do today to start to leverage the technology like YouTube, like Facebook, social media, um, and, and uh, platforms like Google AdWords or Facebook ads in order to leverage yourself and to um, multiply your success? That's right. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.